today I'm doing a get ready with me Valentine's Day edition and it's mostly going to just be like my getting ready process, the products I use, um, what clothes I'm wearing, not as much like tutorials because I feel like there's so many out there you can find like this similar to mine. So I first, sorry in the background that's Matt in the shower, <laughs> but First, I need to shower, I need to wash my face, kind of start fresh, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I'm out of the shower. Um, now, I've washed my face, put all my lotion on, and I'll basically show you what I used. I know, ignore this, whatever, it's acne scarring, everyone gets it, cry about it. So, the first thing I used is this lotion. Now. I've been using this lotion for years, not the size because it's limited edition, but I've been using this lotion for years. Literally, I have been complimented the most on how I smell when I'm wearing this. It is like summer in a jar. It smells, oh, so good. And when I saw they had the bigger jar, like around Christmas time, limited edition, I had to buy it. Basically, it's kind of meant to target like cellulite and stretch marks i didn't buy it for that purpose i just heard it smelled really good and it made your skin really shimmery and soft so i bought it and it does do that i mean it doesn't really make a difference with stretch marks i don't really like have cellulite that's not flex it's because i'm just haven't changed size since the eighth grade so, so um, this does really make your skin super smooth. It makes it shimmery. It makes it, um, oh crap, Matt's gonna get out of the shower. I'm gonna have to pause this. But it makes it really shimmery, really soft. It smells so, so good. Highly recommend. The smell stays all day. Love it. Now, if I need extra moisture, I'll use this. It's the Vaseline Essential Healing um, Lotion. I kind of just got like it is scented but like the original one not like the chocolatey scented one because when I use this I don't really want much scent okay now this is what you have all been waiting for uh, skincare routine so this is the new one I got it is the kale and green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser by use to the people Hiram recommended and I'll kind of give you a sum on how it all works after I show you everything. The next thing I use is the Paula's Choice Exfoliate 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. And like this, like the cleanser, both 10 out of 10, literally obsessed. Next. Okay. And the last thing that I've recently discovered is the Coconut Water Cream by First Aid Beauty. All of them together, all of them together, those three products, I know it doesn't look like much, like, but it has faded, I mean, obviously what I see in my mirror and then what you guys see in the camera, it has faded this scarring so much, smoothed out so much texture, shrunk my pores in just that small amount of time, and wait, just wait until it's been 30 days or a month or two. And I'm really hoping this situation will be much, much better. Now, also, this, I don't really think anyone cares about this, but this deodorant that I use, you can get it at Whole Foods, literally is crazy. I don't like scented deodorants because I feel like when I spend money on a perfume or a nice lotion, I want to smell like that, not like the cheapy, fake, like, fruit and flower smells that come out of deodorants. But this one's unscented. It is a like natural mineral like deodorant. Doesn't leave any white marks. Literally lasts all day no matter what you're doing. And the packaging is also just really cute. So did I miss anything? Like I don't think so. So now can I have one more minute before you come out? Okay. Now I need to blow dry my, or no, 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 no. I need to go do my makeup. 
I don't like doing my hair first because then when I do my makeup, I have to pin it back and I don't have any good clips that don't crimp your hair. So I'm going to go do my makeup and I'll come back. I'll show you how it looks and then I'm going to do my hair. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so I decided to do my hair and makeup together because my hair was drying too fast and I didn't want it to be frizzy. So yeah, this is the final look of hair and makeup. And I guess I'll show you a few of the products I used on my face. So I use this Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Love it. Literally everything you put on your face sticks so well to this and it stays all day. And then I use the It Cosmetics CC Cream and like the sparkly one in SPF 50. You need sunscreen on your face every day. Love it. Then I used these different shades of Tarte concealer all over my face. Like this one is to like kind of cream contour. This one is just to cover blemishes. And then the combination of these two goes under my eyes. And then to set all of that, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills translucent setting powder, like loose setting powder all over. Not all over really, just here and my, under my eyes and around my mouth. And then I used a combination of these two bronzers on my face. The Butter Bronzer and the Hula Benefit Bronzer. And then the brush I used, brush what? The, the blush I used is this MAC blush in the color Burnt Pepper. Wait, hold on, let's take a second. Look at how cute my nails are. I kind of wanted to do like a modern spin on French tip nails. And I wanted it to be kind of cute for Valentine's Day, so I made them pink. Oh, love them. Okay, highlight. Sorry, I spaced out a little again. I can't get it out. Okay. I, the highlight, the holy grail. Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop Highlight. Just just look at that. Just take a second. How pretty. And so pretty on as well. You know what? While we're here, I'm kind of trying to like light up like a disco ball. So I might touch it up again. Okay. Next. What do I do after that? Oh yeah, eyes. I do eyes after that. I used um, the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes palette. It's fairly new. And I used, at least all over here, I used Seashell and Nude. And then to get darker right here in the corners, I used the color Coco. And then for the shimmers on the inner corner, slow your roll. Where did that go? Right here. I used the this like custom MAC palette that my friend made me a couple years ago. I used this pink color. And then after I do eyeshadow, I used this mascara literally is flying off the shelves. You cannot find it anywhere and everyone wants it. It's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara in the color Blackest Black. And I don't wear waterproof because I'm too lazy to sit there and scrub it off. So I just use the normal one. This on in the brush looks a lot like or just reminds me a lot of the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And I use this one mostly for length and just spacing out my lashes, you know, giving them that spider leg effect. And then the second one, which is for volume that I used, is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. Again, in the darkest black, very black, not waterproof. And this one is a really good dupe of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. The brush is literally the exact same. And it has the same effect as that mascara, except this one doesn't chip or like kind of flake off like the Too Faced one does. Don't get me wrong, I've literally been using that mascara since like the sixth grade. It's just, it's the truth. Sorry, I'm fixing this little piece. Now, 
eyebrows, right? Sorry. Next, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the color Caramel. Very pretty. Um, and then to kind of keep my eyebrows in place, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. It really does keep everything in place all day and it gives that soap brow effect without, you know, using a bar of soap. And then to curl my lashes, I used my old, super, super old, and dirty Tweezerman eyelash curlers. And then to set everything, I used this like random concoction and, you know, combination of different setting sprays that I've had. So they're all MAC. I don't know which ones they are though. And that's how I, oh, lip products. I just used an OG MAC lip liner in the color Spice. It's a super pretty like mauve nude-ish, if you can tell. And then finally, the Maybelline New York um, Lifter Gloss in the color Moon. I actually obsessed with this. It's not as sticky as normal glosses. It's super hydrating, and I guess it's a good dupe of like a Rihanna Fenty lip gloss, apparently. But literally, I have no complaints. It's so pretty. Love it on. Stunning. So that is what, oh, that's the wrong area. So that's what I did to get this. So now, okay, so this is the final look. I'll kind of show you how it looks up and down. And then cute bow in the back. And then I'm just wearing Converse. Ignore my dirty laundry bin. But these are the, um, those Converse or these Converse I'm wearing are kind of like, like the platform ones. Super cute. Love them. Anyways, this little romper dress is from Altered State. This necklace, obviously, literally everyone has one. Vivian Westwood. The this necklace is the old, these are together. These are from Altered State as well. Then these earrings, the pearl ones, are from Nahoku. The hoops are from Nordstrom. Um my dad gave me this bracelet for Valentine's Day when I was like a freshman in high school. So it's super fitting. It has like hard eyes emoji, it has an XO, and a little like bow and arrow with a heart, Cupid's bow. And then I couldn't tell you where the scrunchie came from. I've had scrunchies literally forever, so who knows. That's not me gatekeeping. I'm not one of those mean girls that doesn't tell someone like where something is from. I just actually don't know. So yeah, I'm kind of in a pinch and we're gonna be late soon. So that's my look, the, my get ready with me. And I will see you guys soon. Happy Valentine's Day.